Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Mod Showcase for Planet Zoo. Today we're checking out some of the most spectacular mods have ever been put forth on the Planet Zoo Nexus. Of course, before we get started, modding is not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of your own game, but you guys will be just fine with all the tutorials and stuff we have going on there. Alright, I'm too excited to get into this, let's jump right into it. We'll start off with the Mallard. This is a mod that I think everyone has been waiting very patiently for some people not so patiently but this is probably one of the most widespread ducks of like all time uh the ones that you might see in like your local park might be mixed with domestic ducks and stuff like that but still the mallard is an extremely iconic bird right over here and because of the swan rig monsoon was able to get it to work perfectly you guys might remember back in the day when we actually had to put it on the flamingo rig and they would actually like fly outside of the water uh they won't fly but they will kind of act like normal ducks outside of the water which is pretty damn cool these guys are found all over the world they are very very common in parks and zoos and it's just really awesome that we're finally able to populate those like typically not so populated areas of your zoo with actual native wildlife so it's just really really freaking awesome and of course the female looks fantastic as well monsoon does some incredible stuff with hand painted feathers so it's just really awesome to see the sheer quality of their work right here it's just so beautiful such an incredible mod moving on from here we have a beautiful new primate from great cake mods this one is based off of the juvenile proboscis monkey this is the the bald uakari this guy is extremely iconic because they look extremely sunburned uh really really super awesome mod i love what cake is able to do with these fur planes really really incredible top-notch work right over here and they were able to make this model look so freaking beautiful as beautiful as you can get this monkey to look but it really is such an iconic species from south america uh and yeah that's pretty much it they were kept in the united states i believe at the la zoo up until very recently uh, so they're no longer kept in the United States, but they're still so freaking awesome. Look at that skin detail on them. That is terrifyingly good. Holy crap. So beautiful cake. And I believe they do have... Oh, they don't have... Okay, never mind. Moving on from here, we have a new player in the game. Let me actually pull up the Nexus so I can see who made this. This is the lovely uh, Tuco DS. Uh, this is one... Oh, uh, yeah. Author is DS. This is the Eyelash Viper. Oh my gosh. So basically what they did, they took the Desert Horned Viper, made the appropriate model adjustments and color adjustments, and they put it in the Tropical Vivarium, which is really freaking cool. These guys come with a whole plethora of different colors in here. So you can see we have an orange, we have like the white morph right over here, and I think we do have a beautiful green one. I think it might be hiding in the tree somewhere. Where are you? He's uh, hiding underground. Let's see if we can move him out. There we go. Look at that beautiful green. That is a top-notch mod right there. Again, exhibit animal mods do work in franchise, which is really cool. So in case if you guys do want to start your galapagos pink iguana farm in franchise mode you totally can the franchise exhibit animals are kept separately from the habitat ones so you're not able to trade these with the other players on the market so they generate client side uh all that being said really really awesome opportunity to get into mods like viral's beautiful iguana right over here such a top-notch model i really do love what they were able to do with the skin uh really really super awesome job right there it is beautiful insanely well done buddy and we have another one from Jorno and scott this is the panamanian golden frog let's see if i could get like a good view of it super super awesome species right here these guys are critically endangered and are very very popular in zoos because of that zoos do tireless work to make sure that the animal populations are kept up to date and up to speed these guys are only found in a small part of panama which is very interesting these guys can cohabitate with other frogs in there um but yeah it's just a really solid species i have a few zoos near me that has some of these and they're just a really really solid animal they're cool all right moving on from there we are heading back into ancient california this is the california beaver a little bit of a silly mod that nick and i made together uh castor californicus 
really really awesome species right here there's not much to be known about it it was just basically a larger beaver not like a huge beaver like castorites but it's still a large beaver and we thought you know what we're getting into like all these obscure extinct animals why don't we have a little bit of fun with it so we kind of gave this one a wolverine skin well nick did i coded it but it's just so freaking cute look at him I don't know. Really, really silly. Moving on from there, we also have another animal from California. This one would have been extinct if not for zoos. This is like the conservation showcase right here. This one is the California condor. Really, really awesome species. If you guys are doing like a San Diego based project, kind of like I am, this animal is a must have. Incredible, incredible looking mod. This one was almost hunted all the way to extinction. Uh, but it was the really, really awesome work of zoos like San Diego Zoo that were able to bring the species back from the brink. And I don't know, it's just really, really freaking awesome. They are a gorgeous, gorgeous looking bird. Maybe not to some, some might call them a little bit ugly, but I think they are absolutely striking right there. Really, really awesome mod by Cake once again. And Cake will just not leave us alone. We have another extinct animal, the Arsenotherium Zitelli. Try saying that five times fast because I know I can't. This is otherwise known as like the v-shaped rhino i guess I don't, I don't freaking know really really awesome species right here it is based off of the black rhino so you will need the grasslands dlc for it but this is just really really freaking cool i don't know i really do love seeing all these obscure extinct animals pop up because it's really showing the capabilities and possibilities of planet zoo especially as we make our way into a lot more of a mod focused community as support starts to kind of dwindle down for this game. Uh, we're gonna see a lot more players start to get involved in mods of Planet Zoo, and a lot of those players will be looking for extinct animals, so it really is super awesome that we have some more options. Probably one of my favorite mods that I've released as of late is the Dugong. This guy is based off of the seal, so we will go on land for a little bit, but this is probably one of my favorite things I've ever done because of all the small little details I tried to throw in here. This was my first time experimenting with like normal maps and stuff like that, so you can notice that the shading is a little bit like different around the belly and stuff. And that's because I gave it like some custom like wrinkles and stuff like that. But the dugong is very popular. This was one of my Ko-Fi goals, so it was really, really awesome to bring this out for all of you guys. But it really is just such a cool, cool guy. You guys might know manatees have like a very curved tail. The dugong in this case has a lot more of like a whale tail or a dolphin tail. Same with the flippers right over here. It's just a really, really solid looking species and I'm so happy to bring it to you guys. So you guys can make like all your aquariums and stuff. All right, we'll talk about the Dunkel Dunkelosteus in the room. This is the Dunkelosteus from Jorno, originally based off of the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Dunk. Uh, this guy is modded to be paleo accurate. All those small little edits that Jorno made help this creature really stand out as it typically would be in real life. Again, with that very short and stubby look to it to help keep it paleo accurate. I always do love whenever. Giorno does some of these animals because I know she really does care about the representation of these extinct animals to the best of like the paleo community's abilities and it really is just so beautiful look at him so menacing we also have some new penguins this time around again by great cake mods uh, this is the Fjordland penguin. Nope, this is the royal penguin. Never mind. Uh, they have a little crown on them. That's why they're called the royal penguin. Really, just another stand-up species over here. They have the little crest right there, kind of like the macaroni or rock hopper penguins. And they just look super, super solid. Beautiful job, Cake. And now we can talk about the Fjordland penguin. These guys are also called the whiskered penguin because they have these little white whiskers around their cheek right there. Super, super adorable. But again, they do have that iconic crest on the top of their head right there. Super, super beautiful. Again, just a really stellar mod. Both of those species are found in Oceania. So if you guys are working on any Oceanian sections, that is the perfect place to put. We have another beautiful bird over here, another bird of prey. This is the Crested Caracara, Straighted Caracara, sorry. Just a really, really solid South American species this time around. Another bird of prey, who could really be upset by that? Again, such a beautiful job by Cake on this. They are based off the peafowl, and we haven't really found out. We do know how to remove audio, it's just we haven't been doing it. So they will sound like peafowls for now, but hopefully 
hopefully we can work on custom audio sometime in the future. I would love to get that working for all of you guys so we could have like these beautiful birds of prey making their iconic sounds. But in the meantime, this is just so beautiful. Look at this guy. Oh my god. This is the Steep Bison by Viral. Viral is really swinging in, in the Planet Zoo community as of late. This guy has been found all over like the Mammoth Steeps and stuff like that, all the way over to Alaska when the land bridge was there, as well as all over Eurasia. Such a beautiful looking species. And it does have interspecies enrichment, including with the woolly mammoth, which is very cool. But they are just a beautiful, beautiful animal. And there is also a blue variant. So if you guys want to live out your Paul Bunyan dreams with like the blue bull, uh, check this guy out. Look beautiful, beautiful texture on that. All right, I'm not even going to pretend to know what this is. This is just a weird deer thing. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Hoplitiomeryx Mathie. Sure, this existed. Uh, it was found in Gargano Island during the Miocene and early Pliocene. Sure, Italian. It's an Italian deer. That's honestly kind of freaking cool. Just a really solid, beautiful looking deer species right here. Again, with like the little tufted deer like teeth. Really, really cool stuff right there. Solid mod by Cake once again. Moving on, we have one remaster this time around. We do have the Red Fox remaster. Very simple mod over here. It just really helps to touch up the Red Fox, which was already a pretty good looking model, but it just makes it look a lot more accurate. I don't know, it's so cool. Again, another beautiful remaster by Gaboy. This one also does add a new variant. You can check it out on the Nexus page. So you can get like, I believe it's like six different types of fox now. Originally it was five. Good boy added another one, which is so freaking cool. Beautiful looking animal again. Good boy. Always happy to have these remasters. Good boy is not done with us just yet. We also have the yellow mongoose. Uh, I believe these guys are an Asian species. Is that correct? No, they are South African. Okay, never mind. Just don't come to me for animal facts, I guess. Uh, that's what, um, that's what Joe's Ventures is for. Not me. If you want animal facts, go to him. But this model is so beautiful. It is based off the meerkat, and they do have a little bit of color variation so you could get some very iconic looking, I don't know, herds? Groups? Troops of monkeys? Crewmates? Among Us? The Skelds? I don't know. Alright, before we get into this last habitat, I do want to show off the smallest creature that has ever been released in Planet Zoo until someone does like you know, what? what is it, like a water bear mod? I don't know. This is a naked mole rat, probably one of the stupidest things that Nick and I have ever ported to Planet Zoo, but it really is just so silly. It is based off of the prairie dog, and they are relatively accurately sized, so if we do put like, um, who can we put over here? If we do put an angry peep over here, you can see that they are relatively to scale, which I think is so funny. But yeah, if you guys do want to throw a bunch of these guys in your habitat, sure, why not? You can have a bunch of naked mole rats. And they can burrow too, which I think is just very, very stupid and very funny. Alright, let's actually look at some stuff that might be useful. This is the Cape Vulture. Oh my god. Again, another gorgeous bird of prey from Great Cake Mods. It is so beautiful. Look at that. Again, another South African species that really stands out. So happy that we have a lot more representation for that region. Because listen, people might say that there's plenty of African animals in Planet Zoo, but there could always be so much more. It really is so incredible. And we do have a little juvenile right here. You can tell by like the brownish plumage. So cute. So beautiful. We have a remaster to the Marabou Stork. Again, a beautiful, beautiful job by Great Cake. I was very happy with my original version, but Mikey and uh, Robustus stepped in and remastered, well, commissioned a remaster from Great Cake Mods to this gorgeous looking animal. Go maybe gorgeous to some. It's gorgeous to me. Not, not to most of the general community. But they are a beautiful, beautiful looking species. Look at that. I don't know. It just is so incredible to see whatever Great Cake touches turns to gold like this. It is so. And we have one final mod for this week. This is the Blue Crane by Bongo Hardwood. Again, a beautiful job by Bongo on this. Bongo always does take the most detailed approach to their mods. 
and it really is super beautiful this little gradient of the white on the beak right there the model looks incredible all the fur directions look incredible he just always stands out as a prominent modder in the community and it really is so awesome that we have this goofy looking bird in the game all right my friends that is it for today's mod showcase a whole bunch of different animals today i'm so happy that you guys were able to stop by if you guys did enjoy the video let me know oh the little ducklings yes look at them the little babies but if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like and a comment letting me know what your favorite mod was from this week for me it's the little duck how can i not like these guys but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching we're gonna end it here thank you once again for stopping by for another mod showcase and i can't wait to see you all in the next one take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days goodbye now